I've worked for Heller for 34 years and I know that the name Heller spells out quality and reliability and accuracy and these machines are the best in the world. My name is above the door when every single one of these machines goes out. We are producing machines now which is a five axis machine for the price of a four axis machine. So why would you not buy one? David, we started with some fairly powerful statements there about Heller and the machines that you have here. Why are they so good? Heller machines have always been quality and reliability orientated. The name Heller spells out a quality product. I've worked for the company for 34 years and Heller has always shown that they produce solid, reliable, quality products and the development never stops. The machines are constantly evolving, the design and development is constantly being improved to get the best possible quality for the best possible price that money can buy. You say 34 years, a lot of that has been spent in here where these machines are built. So you are the right man um, to illustrate that fact. What do they do here that makes them so good? How do you make them? We build our machines in a flow line process. So it's exactly what it says. It's a step-by-step -step procedure to assemble what we have here. They're started off as a base unit and each machine is assembled stage by stage in various different uh, steps in order to get to the finished product that we can see here, the five axis. and the quality areas that are key. Is it the casting, is it the software, is it the spindle, or is it all of the above? It's more? absolutely all of the above. And every single step of the way, our processes are checked and double checked to ensure that the quality is absolutely A1. We do the geometrical work on the machine bed to start with. That's checked, it's double checked. The person doing the job has to certify that he's done it correctly and accurately before we move on to the next stage and so on and so on. This machine has been designed to be started off and left to run and produce, if necessary, unmanned all night long. A machine like this can be a standalone machine, it can be a machine with a pallet storage system on the front, it can have an additional tool magazine on the side and it can be integrated in a full-blown FMS system which may hold 40 or 50 different fixtures and pallets ready to be loaded into the machine and run. And the considerations a machinist will need to take into account in order to do that with a machine. Let's look at them. The tooling, the loading, the uh, control system. What areas of importance do people need to focus on when they're looking at unmanned running? Exactly those things in a nutshell, Paul. You have to have a good engineering team who can prepare the machine or the system to run with all of those things. So you need the right fixturing. Um, obviously Hella produce fixtures for machines as well. Some customers produce their own, but we're very good at producing our fixtures for machines. You need to make sure that you've got all the tooling that you need in the tool magazine. You need to, before you leave for the end of the shift, you need to make sure that all your pallets are loaded, all your tools are loaded, and then the machine will literally just run overnight. We have things called emergency strategy, which means if something happens during the machining of a component, the machine will stop at that point, that fixture and pallet will then be removed from the machine and that will be stored back into the storage system designated as something with a problem. We have uh, a tool fracture sensor system on uh, machines as an option, which means if the drill breaks, 
when it's been machining the component. Not only does that tool then get flagged up into the tool management system that it's a broken tool, but it will also no longer continue to produce that fixtured part in case the end of the drill that's broken off is still stuck in the component. And all of these things in this emergency strategy system that we have are, are automatic in the machine software. If you wanted to um, run the machine unmanned on different products and went from an aluminium to a stainless steel, is that possible? Are the things you need to take into account to do that? No problem at all. Whatever components, whatever material, as long as the program has been written correctly, the feeds and speeds are set correct, the customer has specified the correct tool in the coolant system that we have on machines like this today is second to none. It will produce whatever you set it up to produce. If there are people watching this that are using several vertical machining centres, every other one may be idle because they're having to load and set. How powerful and how strong is the argument for them to consider uh, utilising a horizontal strategy here like we're talking about, whether it be four axis or the five? Why should they look at it, Dave? Don't just consider it, do it. A horizontal machining centre like this is the way forward for mass production in the future. These Machines can, as I said before, you can have a pallet storage system, you can have additional tooling, you can have everything you want to be able to, for the machine to just continue to run and run, manned or unmanned. Accurately, which is a key and critical point. Um, affordability, a powerful statement said by you at the start. How affordable are they? And for those that are sitting there thinking, Hella, a UK manufactured product, as great as it might be, I can't afford this. I'm going to say the same thing that I said about five minutes ago. You can't not afford to have it. If you buy a machine like a Heller machine, you will guarantee the accuracy, the repeatability, the reliability of a product that is second to none. If we talk about cars as a, as a, a comparison, this is the Rolls Royce of uh, machining centers. You cannot not afford to have a Heller machine.